Fox 2's Dave Kinchin joins us, though, with what the city council has to say about it tonight. Dave. Well, after a big to do, as one activist who spoke tonight said, they felt this was all one big waste of time. Why? Well, the city attorney actually went to the city council and said, you know, you can't really pass this measure because of certain constitutional stipulations relating to religious liberty. So essentially, it was scrapped. Standing room only at Hemtramck City Hall, and even that was controversial. It should have been better if we arranged bigger space today where we know we'll know a lot of people will be coming. It would have been nice. Residents and community members, mostly of the Muslim faith, spoke out on a newly proposed city measure that would allow for the sacrifice of animals as part of religious rituals if passed. City leaders got an earful from both sides on the issue. Don't prevent people from uh, letting them practice their religious freedom. People have been doing it for decades and there is no harm has been done. I am disappointed that the animal slaughter in regards to the animal ordinance is still an issue and being discussed. Their proposal up for a vote requires anyone wishing to conduct an animal sacrifice for religious purposes to notify the city at least one week prior to the date of the slaughter. They have to give the exact date and time of the animal sacrifice and must allow the city to inspect the ritual site to make sure the area was cleaned and sanitized properly. The sacrificer also has to pay a fee to cover the inspection. Violators will face big fines. Do you honestly think that the residents are going to contact the city clerk's office to schedule the animal slaughter or that the city has enough manpower to inspect post sacrifices for compliances. I never seen any mess I, and whoever talking then I have no proof of mess and, and hygiene. This is part of our religion to be clean. The Council on American Islamic Relations Michigan chapter voiced their concerns with the measure. This proposal will be uh, greatly, greatly limiting religious slaughtering for Muslims. And within the Islamic tradition, we slaughter an animal during our second Eid, Eid al-Adha. We typically slaughter a sheep, goat, or lamb. The mayor says the proposal represents a compromise after getting passionate pleas from both sides while hoping to avoid a lawsuit. We took into consideration the uh, safety, the um, health, you know, precautions. Uh, we came up with regulations to for uh, proper waste disposal. Well, there was discussion of amended language in lieu of the constitutional concerns, but the bottom line is the folks inside the officials say these rituals can essentially take place under the Constitution and, again, the protection of religious liberty, but that does not mean that some of the existing restrictions in terms of disposal and sanitation, it doesn't mean that those aren't in effect. So, really, it's about the same out here. Reporting live in Hamtramck, Dave Kinchin on The Edge. You know, Dave, I think there are a lot of viewers probably out there that didn't even realize that this was allowed to take place under the Constitution in Hamtramck. And uh, there could likely be some reaction down the road from other people who have an issue with this. Has Hamtramck addressed that at all? Yeah, you know, this is something that's been going. Uh, this is not the first time this has happened. There's been a, several cycles of this here in Hamtramck. And so I think the uh, the sense was that uh, this may be done for now, but uh, certainly uh, this will probably rear its head again down the line because it's a contentious issue that continues to come up. And uh, some folks even said, why not put it to a ballot? But that would raise even more concerns right. about legality and other measures uh, from what folks are saying. Yeah, certainly a lot of people showed up tonight. All right, Dave, thank you for the update. Yep.